Christmas. Anyone that's a Christmas, right. you don't want anything. It's just like Christmas. If you're not a pagan or a heathen, why would you want to acquiesce to anything of a heathen nature? Amen. Now I'm going to be reading out of the Holman Bible Dictionary, page 1167. And let's pick right up in the first paragraph. Egyptians were known for their fastidious attention to personal cleanliness and did not shave the hair of their beard and head only in times of mourning. Their normal custom was to shave both with the motive of cleanliness. The pictures and statues of pharaohs show them with beards, which we now know were fake. And it's the same thing they tell you today. A uh, uh, ball fade is neat and uh, uh, your beard shade is neat. But who said that? God didn't Amen. say that. Amen. I mean, that's what Amen. the Bible said. That's what they said on, on those posters. But that's not what Jesus said on the day. Hallelujah. Now, let's talk about God's people. Amen. We already told you what the heathens do. Mm -hmm. The custom of shaving the face and head was less common among the Hebrews. Among them, in parallel with most Western Asiatic, including the Assyrians, the beard was considered as an ornament and point of pride and was not shaven, but only trimmed. The beard was cherished as a badge of dignity of manhood. Now, ain't that something? They laugh it up. They put pride in their beard, Holly. They didn't cut their beard to try to look good. You don't look good for man. You look good for God, Holly. Now, let's go to the second paragraph. Now, it brings out. Shaving was practiced as a sign of mourning, as a sign of subservience to a superior, and as a treatment for a person with leprosy. And let's connect this with Numbers, the sixth chapter, talking about the Nazarite vow. So we already established the heathens cut their beard to look good. God people only cut, shaved their beard in very extreme circumstances. Amen. Numbers chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, when either man or woman shall separate themselves to a vow, a vow of a Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord. That's what this vow is about. We're making a higher commitment, a stronger relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 3, he Amen. shall separate himself from wine and strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine or vinegar of strong drink, neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes, nor eat moist grapes or dry. So we don't drink the wine, we don't eat anything Amen. that's related to the grape. Nothing from the vine. Why? Because we're making a higher commitment. And I want to close this out by going to Ezekiel chapter 23. We can't do what the heathens do. We can't walk like the heathens walk. We can't talk like the heathens talk. Hallelujah. We can't shave like the heathens shave. Ezekiel 23 and 27. Thus will I cause thy lewdness to cease from thee, and thy whoredom brought from the land of Egypt, so that thou shalt not lift up thy eyes unto them, nor remember Egypt any more. So you don't remember anything from Egypt. The makeup, the earrings, the Christmas, the Easter, Halloween, all that stuff, the shaved head and the shaved beard. You leave all that stuff behind when you're a Christian. And I want to close by saying, if you look at all the influential people in the Bible who took the Nazarite vow, uh, John the Baptist, Samuel, the greatest apostle of all, Paul, and even Jesus Christ, if it's good enough for them, why isn't it good enough for you? Say greens in the matchless name of Jesus yes, to the Lord. Lord. YouTube Amen. land, Thank TV you. land. Yes. I give all honor, glory, and praise to God Almighty. Name is Jesus, yes. the one true God according to the Scriptures. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I give double honor and all honor to His latter day prophet, yes. Bishop yes. Prophet. Yes. Yes. All honor to His lovely help man, fifty years first. Yes. 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 The Bible says to esteem him highly yes. for the labor's sake. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And I most certainly give honor to honor is due. To our esteemed prophetess and assistant overseer, yes, Madam Wagner. Right. 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 honor to District Evangelist at Evans in her absence. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 Elder of this great house, President Elder Ricky Smith, and yeah. his helpmate, Evangelist oh, Smith. Yeah. Yeah. To his assistant, Evangelist Jackie Gallatine. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. I give honor to Wander's do it, and also to the beautiful mother of the church. Amen. Now, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. out to our text, 2 Peter 3 and 15, and it reads, An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, and which are some things hard to be understood, mm -hmm. which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Now, Peter is 
speaking about the teachers of Paul, just to let you know in TV land that all the apostles were in one accord. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Now, let me back up to the first council of Nicaea. This was all the problem come um, come by way of. Why do you baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Mm. Yes. Why do you celebrate Christmas and Easter? Where is it in the scriptures? Yes. Now, Constantine the Great, the great Roman emperor, in that dispensation of time, held a council in Nicaea in 325 AD. He changed the baptism in Jesus' name to the words, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yes. He changed the Godhead from Jesus be the one true God, Amen. monotheism, to tritheism. Yes. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's three. Amen. He called it the Trinitis. Trinitis is Latin for three, mm -hmm. but you can't find that nowhere in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He brought in Christmas, Easter, mm -hmm. right. Lent. Mm -hmm. It's not for the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. It's for the birth of Son God to move. Mm -hmm. Now, the Roman Church, they call itself Catholic nowadays. Catholic <laughs> is a misnomer. Catholic is coming from the Greek word, mm -hmm. Catholicos, which means universal or worldwide so yes. they claim they're the universal or worldwide religion yes. but you can't find catholic in the bible oh, thank amen. you Jesus. Yes. praise amen. god amen. again constantine the great at the council of nicaea in 325 d he brought these things yes no apostle ever taught these things but i thank god that we have a true man of god who is just truth and the truth shall make you free. Amen. 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 Praise God for a true prophet of the Lord that we have here today. That is the truth of God's word and live by it. Amen. And I want to go to St. John chapter 10 verses 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, the apostles' doctrine, but climbing up some other way, yeah. the same as a thief and a robber. Right. But he that enter in by the door, the apostle's doctrine, is the shepherd of the sheep. Mm -hmm. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he called his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow him. For, but will flee from him. See, we fleeing from Creflo Dollar. Yeah. We're yeah. we not going to follow yeah. Benny Hinn. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know him. We don't know his voice. He's a stranger to us. Amen. We know who God has chosen. That is the true prophet of God here. Yeah. And we thank and praise God for the yeah. true prophet of God. Amen. Yeah. I'm turning back over to Elder Brennan. Yeah, man. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, the, Lord. praise the Lord. I want to uh, spring off from where Elder Wagner went. Well, I'm going to start in... Uh, Matthew 28 and 19, mm -hmm. where, the, where the reading of the Lord says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, that's everyone, every mm -hmm. race, every people. So for all yes. those that believe just one separate race of people is going to make it to heaven, that's, that's, that's garbage. Amen. So we're going to, uh, it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son <laughs> and of the Holy Ghost. All right, now let's jump over to, to Acts. Where he speaks on the baptism, Acts two thirty eight, yeah. and we are uh, we're honored and privileged to be baptized in Acts two thirty eight. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 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 So Acts two thirty eight. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission or the removal of sins. So we know in Matthew twenty eight nineteen that. Matthew gave the title names, mm -hmm. but in Acts 2.38, Peter gave the saving name. Uh, so these, these preachers out here, I, they, they're just like the scriptures that prophesy that they're, they're wrestling with the word of God. Yes. They need to be taught by a true man of God uh, so they can yeah, come yeah. to the full knowledge and then, and then truly seek out those that are, that are trying to find yes. God mm -hmm. and stop uh, uh, chasing after the money issue. Yes. You know, Amen. the money, uh, there's going to come a time when money's not going to be any good Amen. for you. Amen. So, I mean, it's, the best thing to do is not only watch the prophet on, on the internet, but contact him. That's right. You know, Amen. we have a phone number that's Amen. on the website. Yes, we have his email address. You. you don't even have to call. I mean, there was times where you went a long distance to go and do something that wasn't even for the church or a church. Amen. Even though it may have been a false church, but still, when you were in the world, or as you still are, but to go somewhere in a far distance, you know, do it now for the name of God. Amen. You know, Amen. come, 
come to South Carolina.